Ja, ja, Miska u osudu. Ka... Zali željezo je. <laughs> je, željezo, željezo. Je, e, ok, ok. okay. And basically, the, the foundation. And basically what happened in, in those... <laughs> And then I'm cold. And then she fixed the appointment for the next morning. Why is the original? Because that kind of pizza has a thousand year history. And now Pizzaioli, they're gonna is part of best by some but, but, but the creation one. Because why? Pizza now Pizzaioli they're superstar nowadays, right? Yeah. But actually the first Pizzaioli they were bakers. Yeah, but tell us, tell us, what's the uh, you know perfect way of making homemade okay. pasta? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, okay, that's the, that's the question. You buy Pozdrav svima i dobrodošli u Tipsi podcast. Danas imamo specijalnu epizodu. Dobili smo čovjeka iz Italije koji živi u Hrvatskoj već duže vrijeme. A ono po čemu je specifičan da je čovjek iz Italije oženio Slavonku. Ovdje su napravili prekrasan restoran, a o tome ćemo nešto malo kasnije. Sa nama je Pasquale Langobardi. Senjor Pasquale, dobrodošao. Hvala ti. Hvala, Hvala ti puno. Da, i ja samo disclaimer pričat ćemo na engleskom čisto da komunikacija bude malo Moja greška. Ljepša. <laughs> Nije tvoj <Pardon. laughs> uh, While I'm opening the wine, this is a Josic Grand Cue. You have Josic in your restaurant, mm-hmm. but uh, you didn't try this one. So, while I'm opening, can you give, tell us more about yourself, your background, okay. where did you grow up, blah, 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 you know how it Okay, goes. so a, a, a quick one. Yeah. <laughs> so, I'm uh, Pasquale Longobardi. I, I was born in Casalamare di Stabia, Naples. Naples, yeah. So Napolitano originale. Mm-hmm. <laughs> um, I grew up in Gragnano until 13 years old. Then the whole family we moved uh, to the north near Treviso. Mm-hmm. That's why I know yeah. Az- Azolo. And um, nothing. I in Treviso we stayed with the whole family, with my family mm-hmm. until We decided with Anna to go to Ireland, spend there two years, almost two years. And where then did you where did you meet your future wife? My future wife. Yeah. Oh, that's a long story. That's a long funny. story. Yeah. So she was the... basically Anna was actually is a friend of my sister, but before that, oh, that's how she was in school of my cousin, <laughs> and my cousin was already in Treviso. Ah, okay. <laughs> so basically, the first day. We entered the house in Treviso. Uh-huh. I met Anna because she, they came to, to to visit us. But I was fat. I was uh-huh. a classical Napolitano guy, fat, short, with a finger. So Anna didn't even look at me. <laughs> <laughs> But so, yeah. you met when uh, you guys were like 17, 13, 18. 14 years old. Yeah. 13, 14, yeah. Okay, Anna okay. moved to Italy, was 99. Ah, okay. With And her we parents? Moved in, uh, with, with parents with the so family. the father was working in Italy, right? Yeah. If I read, yeah. 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 Uh, already a year, then move. the whole family moved to Italy in the same village mm-hmm. of my parents. And um, yeah, later on, she just was in school with my sister. Mm-hmm. That was, we are talking about 2000. Mm-hmm. And in 2006, Basically, I was already working season, but not food related. Mm-hmm. I was working like um, in this, I don't know, how is the, the word in English? You know, before they building a, a, um, a building, mm-hmm. there is the, you need to tie the, the iron before putting the cement. Ah, okay, how okay. How do you call this? Oh, I have yeah. no idea. <laughs> the, the skeleton, basically the skeleton of the building. Yeah, yeah. This guy was not the... Zali <laughs> željezo je. Yeah, željezo, <laughs> željezo. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, okay, okay, okay. And basically, the, the foundation. And yes. basically, what happened in, in those three months, two yeah. months and a half, I lost around 15 kilos. Mm. I was outside the whole summer, basically, shirt off, and so I was black, like an African. <laughs> uh, 15 kilos less. And one day, one evening, I just got, uh, arrived home mm-hmm. to say hi to my sister. Anna was in the room. I just saw Anna said, 
Oh, who, yeah. is this, who is this guy? I said, uh-huh. Uh, okay. Evo ti sad. Hello? So after, uh, so you guys met, you were, uh, then you were probably introduced to, to Croatia and everything. Yeah. I, I assume. And then, uh, so uh, let's take a step back. You, where is your uh, background with uh, mm. cooking, making pizza, pasta and everything? I, I read that you finished the... That you have a de- degree, right? In, uh, uh, that you are certified pizzaiolo. P- mm, yes or no? It means, yeah. I, I did some course. Yeah, okay, okay. Which is like, uh, but nothing related to this now moda of ah, Napoletano. Okay, 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 okay. okay. Pizzaiolo Napoletano. No, nothing like that. It just, at some point, I. Up, Year after I start to work, like uh, I, I start making pizza. Mm-hmm. I was doing pizza, by the way, not like I'm in profession, mm-hmm. like for the weekend. Oh, I already okay. had a job. Okay. Uh, okay. Uh, by by school, I'm a, um, by school I'm a chemist. Ah, okay, okay. Basically, when I'm, I start to make pizza, I was already in school. Mm-hmm. Okay, you understand? I'm a crazy guy. Okay. I'm not. A, <laughs> Tell me more about I'm, I'm, it. <laughs> I'm a normal guy. All right. I, a little bit work addicted, but mm-hmm. we're gonna go through this. Anyway, I started making pizza at the first, basically for money. Mm-hmm. I need to buy a car, and I was 17, probably 18. Mm-hmm. I was already with Anna. Anna was doing uh, at that time. She was doing season on uh, Bassano del Grappa, maybe you know, because it's near Azul. Okay. If you want to visit them, for sure you know the, this mountain. And I was doing the season there. I was back, basically alone uh, in the summer. And okay, so I was working in some factory. Mm-hmm. They were doing like metal, metal, I, anyway, some heavy. Yeah. Some heavy metal, some Iron Maiden it, you were doing. Yeah. And uh, a friend of mine said, you know, uh, there is this pizza, uh, this pizzeria where we go pick up pizza. It was a to go pizzeria, mm-hmm. classic in Italian. Uh, they're looking for a pizzaiolo. You're from Naples, for sure. You know how to make a pizza. You're talking. So <laughs> now you can swear. <laughs> okay. So uh, what are you talking about? I'm, okay, I'm from Naples, but yeah, I don't know how to make pizza. What, what are you talking about? Okay, okay. But let's go. Let's go. I fix you an appointment. It's already done. She's waiting for you in six o'clock. Man, I'm I'm working. From six to five, I'm working. We, we were working together in this uh, factory. And by the way, I said, okay, it was this myth that Pizzaiolo, they, they were earning a lot. Mm-hmm. This basically stopped when I started working. Like, <laughs> 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 this myth just fall when I, I start. No, I'm kidding. And, and um, I went all oh, dirty. I was black, you know, in this. I was dirty like yeah. hell. Was not even near home, so I didn't have time to take a shower or nothing. So, uh, this my friend told me that you're looking for a pizzaiolo. I don't know nothing about it, not but I'm willing to work. I mean, have energy, I'm young, but if you can teach me, of course I can. I Why can. not? Huh? And the lady said, Really? She probably, she probably saw also something, or she was more crazy than me. <laughs> said, Okay, what about tomorrow? Said, What about money? You don't know nothing. I, I, I'm investing in you, so you're gonna work for free. Oh yeah, good old times, good old times. I said, uh, okay. <laughs> well, that's gonna be another skill. I, I was in school, so mm. I just realized that, and I was already working weekends, and she was putting some money, you know, mm. in the family or for herself. And I said, okay, you know what? I can learn. As soon. I can manage, I can, I can look for something else for, to, to work Saturday and Sunday mm-hmm. when I'm not in school. And I show up the next day and now this big scoop of yours, everybody think I'm from Naples, so some big guy, Napolitan guy, teach me how to make pizza. No, an Egyptian, Egyptian <laughs> guy <laughs> taught me how to make pizza. Really? Yeah, I was 17 years old. Summer, I worked for free something like the whole summer. 
And then I said, look, I'm here, I'm coming here when in, in the factory, mm -hmm. in this factory. I was done. I was starting school. So I said, look, I'm working. I show up all, all summer, every day. Mm -hmm. So even I'm, I'm not able to so, do what yeah. the expectations are, but at least something for gasoline. I, I, I was going with a scooter. So uh, he taught you how to do, which type of the pizza was that? Ma, no, that's the classic. Like a regular. To, to, to go classic pizza, Italian. Yeah, just a production, yeah. Bam, yeah, bam, yeah. Bam, 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 bam. Yes, 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 yes. Yeah. Uh, nothing, nothing specific. Actually, the dough was really great uh, because the lady was making dough. The lady. The old oh, lady okay. was making dough. Lady boss. And was, uh, the lady boss. Yeah. A, a classical lady boss. Yeah. Um, was using a mix of flour and seeds, mm -hmm. which was uh, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, mixed uh, seeds and uh, brown flour. And pizza was different. Mm -hmm. and, and actually, I remember that the customer were satisfied about that. Yeah. It was not like a whatever. You know? yeah, yeah, yeah. And, and already there, I understand that details matters. And after that? After that, that, that was, let's say, that started like a joke, okay? Mm -hmm. Just to put something aside, I was, I, I'm the, the, the first brother of four, so you can imagine uh, our parents working like crazy to, to put in uh, yeah, four, four of us in school, yeah. and every September was a disaster because, I don't know, yeah. 10 different books, and I don't know, in, in a way I wanted to help, and not even that, but to put something for myself, you know. Yeah. Uh, when you are a fir uh, fir first, first of four, you always like you need to be the example, you know. Yeah. You cannot. Hey, mama, you know, I, I want to do this. No, you can't. Otherwise, all oh, your yeah. little brother want to do that. Yeah. No, yeah, yeah. we can. So. Big responsibility. Yeah. Yeah. For sure. But that's. Uh, I mean that that's the way to go. Yeah. Now you have a you know a family and your own business. That's that's something. What that. Uh, past of the of the jobs uh, taught you. To, to yeah, do. that's kind of shaped me in a way. Mm -hmm. Yes, true. And um, to get back uh, the, my journey about pizza. So yeah, uh, this lady decided to give me some. Was fifteen euro every two weeks for the gasoline. Fifteen. Petra Stevor. Petra Stevor. Second batch, no. I guess. Yeah, but. That... <laughs> Oh, Pizza Yolo, no. Anyway, uh, what happened? That friend of a friend of a friend told me, hey, you know, there is this family in Castelfranco, so uh, near mm -hmm. where uh, we're living. They're looking for, uh, they're from Naples, you know, they're from Naples and they're looking for a Pizza Yolo. Okay. Uh, and you know what? We are going tonight. It was a Friday. It was Friday. We are going tonight to, to, to eat pizza there. Yeah. You want to come? Okay. Why not? I'm free, I'm free today. So yeah. <laughs> let's go. And we are talking about I, I was still in school. I was in um, high school. Uh, now in, in Croatia, you have different, different terminologies. Uh, but uh, high school. Most of the school and faculty. No, before faculty. Srednja škola. Srednja škola. Da. Anyway, I went there, this family was from Naples, and basically the guy just had a few, few words with me, said, look, you want to come? Said, Let's give it a try. No, there is no try. Or you come or you don't come. Oh. It was, I don't think it was desperate to find someone. Mm -hmm. He just asked me, you know how to open a bula? Uh, mm -hmm. Stretch? Yes. You know how to season it? Yes. You know how to cook it? I lied. I need to say. Oh yeah, of course. You you, you work on the wood oven? Yeah, yeah, yeah. We work yeah. In, no, it was it was electric, so it was completely another <laughs> another technique, another word yeah. about wood. Yeah, yeah, no problem. I'll, yeah, yeah, I do. I can, I can, I can. And uh, nothing. The next weekend I was there. As I went back to the old lady said, sorry. They offered me actually real money, so what yeah. I have to do? Yeah. C -c can you do it? She said no. So, sorry. Yeah. Um, I can do it. Did this for free. So that that was the that that restaurant. Mm -hmm. 
that was uh, Napoletana? Uh, no, it was still kind of classic, Napolita uh, classic Italian, uh -huh. but let's say it was near to Napoletana. Now, okay, you, 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 you want to, do you want to uh, know for me spe in specific what is Napoletana? Now, nowadays, everybody knows what is Napoletana. Yeah, yeah that, but, that, that's not the point. Yeah, I just want to know which uh, styles you, you were switching. I never, I never did Napoletana pizza before doing myself in Zagreb. Oh, okay, okay. Yeah. Um, we are talking about a way of making pizza. Mm -hmm. Napoletana, why is Napoletana? Napoletana has a certain characteristic from, and from the flavor you use for the rotation and the, the maturation of the dough. Yeah. And the, the way of cooking, then it's correlated to the oven. Yeah. For example, now there, is, there was this war five, six years ago, then Napoletana can go only in the uh, wood oven. Yeah. And then there was this fighting. Why not electric? Why not gas? Why not this? And then uh, association, this association. I, I don't want nobody to sue me, but yeah. I, don't give, uh, I, I don't care. I like it. Anyway. <laughs> I like that you don't care. <laughs> I don't care. No. So uh, uh, let's It's go, not even important. Yeah, I mean, I'm sorry to interrupt you. Let's go back to the story. I was just what? asking uh, just to, to get the story right, you know, to know. No, no, I, nev I never worked uh, uh, with the Napoletana family. Yes, I worked in three different Napoletana family, mm -hmm. but actually none of them was doing Napoletana pizza. Like, we want to call Napoletana pizza today. Yeah. Okay. Even Napoletana pizza, there is different area. There is uh, Ruota di Caro, which is like not jumbo, but the same bulla, but stretch it more with no edges at all. Mm -hmm. uh, for example, da Michele, mm -hmm. is not, uh, that is Napoletana pizza. That is but not. It is. It is. It is Napoletana pizza. That actually the first, the original Napoletana pizza. Oh, okay. Why is the original? Because that kind of pizza, has a thousand year history and now Pizzaioli they're gonna it's part and best by some but, but, but the creation one because why pizza now Pizzaioli they're superstars nowadays right yeah but actually the first Pizzaioli they were bakers Pecama, bakers the... what's what was happening they were making bread mm -hmm. with leftover leftover dough they were not selling. Mm -hmm. They were making this, actually this, it means pizza. Pizza is not a name like uh, some folkloristic name. Pizza mm -hmm. just means this. When you do this, if you, I do this, I give you a pizza. Uh -huh. Th that's the action or the sound. Th uh -huh. That is pizza. Yeah. Anyway, w these guys, what they were doing? They're actually guys from the mountain. Anyway, mm -hmm. they were baking this. At the beginning was not even tomato, was well, just olive oil and some hard cheese grated. Okay. That's all. They were baking in this oven, not at 400 degrees. No, the oven was off from the fr from the bread. They make first the bread. Ah, okay. Take out the bread from the leftovers. They, they were putting this stuff in. They were folded in four. It's called nowadays. It's uh, called in a portfolio. Mm -hmm. When you fold this, if you go in Naples, you find this pizzeria. They they, they give you pizzeria mm -hmm. folded up. Mm -hmm. In four, they were packing this in this cylinder, metal, me metallic cylinder, jumping on the horse or on the on the don donkey, donkey. Oh uh, yeah, Margarets. Going to the seaside, I start the cylinder to the to the uh, sailors. Uh. Going to Stalamare was not the most important, but the one of the most uh, important port at the time, and then Naples. And then Gaeta, actually, the first written document about pizza is in Gaeta, which is not even Naples. It's between Naples and Rome. Wow. Gaeta, uh, the, that was not even Italy. <laughs> too, too, too long, sorry. Yeah, yeah. That was under the Borboni, uh, which is uh, this family Spain, was raining all over South Italy. And Gaeta was the main port, commercial port. Mm -hmm. So basically, all these bakers were producing and sending this stuff to the seaside where mm -hmm. sailors and com uh, this uh, commercial yeah. people were coming uh, to do business, like market and business. Yeah. That pizza always born. Yeah. So, and it, it was like, now it seems like 
ultra star yeah now it's uh oh, cool down. Just yeah make a bit. and it's also because <laughs> and it's also because of uh social media now you have uh, mm. some superstars also which is which is great it is yeah it is yeah. but it is. but you cannot call uh, uh everybody you know pizza yo. it, it must be some respect for those people especially for the people uh especially for the people who are making it you know with with love with something uh, different you know who are not just going to put okay cheese from i don't want to say the, the name of the store you know any cheese any ham mm -hmm. any 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 uh, tomato wh mm -hmm. whatever you know i just okay. i i, I want to hear the you know the the some, guy so, so, yeah so, some fight yeah uh no, no some hard hard art, art line no um, I'm um, Anna will kill me, but let's say you are making pizza. Mm -hmm. Pizza is the most known food, probably after rice in the world. Okay, yeah. pizza, like a word, is most known word, Italian word in the whole world. Yeah, and the connection between pizza and Naples, it's really. Is there when you name pizza and Naples is the, the second word that come up, and but you cannot. Uh, okay, I'm, I'm doing also this course in Papavero. I always say I always start like, guys, chill down, cool. Pizza is freedom. Pizza is so it's so well known stuff that mm -hmm. you cannot put some barrier, some limit, some no. With pizza, you can do whatever you want. Pizza, you can call it whatever. Yeah. Though with some topic on top, you want. Okay. Yeah. So, if we talk about some quality pizza and not quality pizza, okay, I, I can agree. If you're talking about what's Napolitana, what is not Napolitana, it seems like maybe that I'm not, I'm, I'm not a fan of Napolitana. I am a fan, a fan of Napolitana, but not because of the product, because of the history is behind that. And the, actually, the what bring to the city of Naples? Because since this Instagramable pizzas, that help a lot mm -hmm. because Napolitana pizza is beautiful. Let's keep the, the healthy, yeah. the healthy uh, uh, and the quality that, that may be or cannot may be. Mm -hmm. Just keep that. But in a social media point of view, Napolitana is the best. Yeah. It's the best looking. And and I would say that, uh, thanks to that, Naples 15 years ago is not the Naples it is today. That helped a lot, a lot. I'm not sure if that starts with pizza, but a couple of bloggers and journalists will agree with me. Yeah. A couple of pizza will agree with me. But let's say everything starts with food. And Naples, again, is a completely different city. I was there with, yeah. you know, with uh, Gastro Tajalica. I was missing from Naples seven, eight years. And because of season, because of we moved in Ireland, because of Croatia, in, uh, Naples city center. Of course, uh, every year I, I go to visit. I have still have grandparents there. Yeah, but it's, but it's not Naples now. city center. And the city is completely changed. It's great. It's fantastic. Full of life. Oh yeah, kids are. Yeah, before kind of I don't want to say kind of Zagreb, but I, I, at the end I fell in love with Zagreb because of that. It full of energy. Yeah. Good people. Full of. Green, a capital city, uh, but still in a, um, in a way not a mega metropolis. It's still yeah. something that I enjoy about Zagreb. Yeah. Uh, what, what, what happened to the to the to the pizza in general? So people like in the nineteen two thousands, let's say here, people know about pizza as a pizza. Then the Napolitana style came, you know, on mm -hmm. small doors. Then entered on the big doors and then after that N Naples were known for Maradona and mm -hmm. football okay and, and after that not for pizza and after, really? not, that not, came after not that specific you know city no, I don't know and that. That's yeah. Yeah, yeah yeah and then after that after the pizzas and those styles came here then people started to uh, connect pizza and Naples together and that's okay. that's that's uh, that's what happened that's i think that happened also in the world some people who are doing this business like like we do they knew about uh, you know yeah. 
region and the connection with the name you know it's makes sense it's yeah, logical of course but i think that the other things were maybe more important now that's that's what you say you you've been there like two three weeks ago yeah you know everything and it's as i saw on the videos it's full of people full of tourists yeah, tourists, tourists like yeah shops bakeries I mean, we, pizzerias. we never i don't want to put this in a on a bed light but we know uh, our room was in in some quarter that 15 years ago you cannot even enter they, yeah. if you go with the car mm -hmm. and you want to enter this this part they will stop you say hey, who are you where are you going <laughs> not police yeah just to tell you i mean it was crazy but then it's like another city and actually i fell in love again with, uh, with so you would recommend people to yeah come absolutely see, visit. Yes. yes 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 yeah i mean actually um when we opened Papavero, um, customers were asking, do you, do you recommend to go to Naples? Said, yeah, but keep, be careful, you know, where you sleep, where you took the room. Of course you can go. Mm -hmm. Go. Uh, Amalfi Coast is beautiful. Sorrento, mm -hmm. you have this Positano, all the coast up to Castellamare. It, it, it's beautiful. Napoli, go. It's fantastic. Yeah. yeah and, and go, take, rent a car, uh, 40 minutes drive, you have Caserta. You have this uh, Regia di Caserta, which is the... I'll tell you, the, the, the Spanish mm -hmm. family where they build this. It's uh, bigger and, and more beautiful than Versailles. Oh, okay. Yeah, you know, this competition about the castle and villas. Yeah. Anyway, uh, also because in Caserta, there was Franco Pepe, uh, who became famous, thank, I mean, in Croatia, thanks to Netflix. Mm -hmm. In Italy, was already famous about the, the vision he has oh, okay, about okay. pizza and the shift. He actually um, set and create about the shift between Napolitana, classic, traditional, and the contemporanea. Yeah. And then now it's Martucci after Pepe and yeah, the result of guys in Caserta. So uh, how did that uh, transition to Croatia happen? With actually, you? All, all the credit uh, to to the people who, who brought the Napolitana pizza in Croatia. Why? Oh. Because all over the world happened and Napolitana came. Pizzaioli from Naples, they were traveling. China, America, Australia. Mm -hmm. Pizza Napolitana arrived in this place, far away from Naples, thanks to the pizzaioli that were in Naples. Napolitani, Italian guys, mm -hmm. people from Naples, they were traveling and bring this pizza. What happened in Croatia is special, I think, and specific is that some Croatian guy start from, from Zagreb, went to Naples to learn, and then bring Napolitana pizza. You, you know what happened? No. You understand? Um, pizza Napolitana is all over the world because some guy from Naples brought the pizza abroad. Mm -hmm. In Croatia, it didn't happen that. I'm the first pizza from Naples in Croatia. Yeah, that's... And yeah. before me, Napolitana pizza was already here. Yeah, yeah. You, you know, so... so that, yeah, makes sense. Yeah, right. Okay. Of course. So, all the credit. You know the guy? Uh, Marin. Hoara, right? Ah. The, the first pizzeria, Napolitana Pizza in Zagreb. is Hoara, right? Ah, Hoara, right, Ohara. bro. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, right, right, right. And Marin is not even here anymore. He's not here anymore. He, no, he I went, don't. He went somewhere, else, something to like Czech Republic. He was crazy about this. Really? Bu bureaucracy and everything, as far as I know. I think that his son uh, continued to the business. Yeah, I mean, the, I, I know they had uh, in, in Istra some, or yeah, corner or... They already did have... They, they had, yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah that's, that's right. I forgot, man. Yeah. I forgot about But Actually, uh, look, if you want to skip a lot of years forward, yeah. why I'm here in Croatia, or why we are here in, in Croatia, in, in Zagreb, because you we were in Ireland. Ireland is, oh my God. I, I was born on the sea, right? Mm -hmm. Okay. Ireland, you have 10 days of summer. And then all the other is, is it's raining. Okay, the job what, what was great. Yeah. Uh, we were looking, uh, we were working like a um, chef in, in the kitchen. Mm -hmm. So I was not even making pizza. Mm -hmm. the, uh, Anna was the main chef and I was like uh, sous chef or assistant to Anna. Uh, and um, we all, we helped this family to open this big restaurant because when we are right there, 
let's go back. Where, where, where we arrived in Ireland? Okay, where we're coming from, seasons uh, in Italy. And actually, there was this project of the Anas family to open in Croatia a uh, hotel, wow. or at the moment was, uh, yeah, already the idea to have an hotel, something in, in Lika, in Rakovic. Ah, okay. So the idea that I'm a classic Italian, you know, I was not, I was not speaking English in, at all. Mm -hmm. I mean, even now with this, I have a weird word, a weird accent. No, it's okay, it's okay. Th thank you. And um, I'll pay you later. Uh, <laughs> For the Italian, okay, I, I, I was playing some uh, baseball in Italy. It, it, really? Bro, I, I didn't find, uh, it was, a, it was a mostly uh, the guy from the South of America who's, who spoke English. But then the it, Italian no, guys, don't speak. No. they don't care, bro. It's not that we don't care. You realize after, I mean, I, I realized when I was abroad that actually Italian, they don't need it. Even you speak English, also here, for example, st stupid things. On television, you have the, uh, movies in original. You go to watch a movie, is in, um, how do you say, in, in, in English, is in the yeah, original. Yeah, with the subtitles. Have, so with subtitles. In Italy, we don't have that. Oh, actually, yeah. Italy has the... Probably the best, like a, in, the best in the world, uh, this translation. Like and, a voice, you know, another yeah. voice over the actors. Yeah, yes, yeah. yes. No, not That's, over. There is not even audio. But, yes, it's uh, all in uh, oh, this is a specific word. It's all translated simultaneously. Ah, okay. But okay. you have no audio of the original actor. Yeah, no, no, no I know. Yeah. It's the same as uh, in uh, Germany. Like you go to the hotel in Germany, yes, like you yes, have, yes. you, you have Jean-Claude yeah. Van Damme speaking German. Yeah, yes, fuck it. Exactly. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. yeah. I mean, even that in Italy, no, you don't need it. So it's not. And it's uh, a, a country big enough to have business between region, between north to south, south to north, of north course. to north, and eighty million, you know, million people. Yeah, yeah. That's. Yeah. I mean, it's until what twenty years ago, twenty-five years ago, you don't even need to go. To look abroad, yeah. yeah. At least if you if you are a big big company and you wanna expand your of course, yeah. So in but uh, you don't actually they, they, they don't need English. No. Yeah. But now yeah. it's social media, yes. Yeah, of course. More young youngsters now. There. Yeah. So in which year did you? What of you guys came to the Croatia? Okay. So basically, it was the this project to come in Croatia, and Anna said, "Look at me," said. What? what? How, how are you going to communicate in Croatian? Croatian is ha yeah. hard language with Padaj and yeah. which is a still today. <laughs> I, I'm not even put an effort because it's I, 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 yeah. it, 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 it's my language. I, I, I can't. think English is not. I can't. I, I can't. I can't. But but anyway, so okay. At least I do be English. You, you need to speak. But yeah. what I said, okay. So what? So at the end of the season, you are going to Ireland for a course, English course. You crazy at the end of the season, I want to go to to holiday. Yeah, it's six months. I'm working like crazy. Uh, you want to bring me to to some place that is no sun at all? And of course, she won at the end because she convinced me. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> and um, yeah, we spent four weeks in Dublin city center mm -hmm. for this course. Then we realized that Dublin was too expensive, so we need to do something about it. You were deciding to get back to more course, to put some more investment, more money, to, mm -hmm. to rent a house, blah, blah. House, impossible house to rent a room. Anyway, what happened? Anna, which is, okay, I'll tell you later. Uh, Anna found this family on the countryside, mm -hmm. an hour drive from Dublin city center, mm -hmm. which is beautiful. Anyway, uh, this family that, uh, Basically, we applied to this project where you go help these companies. Mm -hmm. They don't pay you. They give you food and accommodation, and you just work small stuff like I don't know. We started to uh, okay. Let's go there. We're not going to pay rent. We're going to pay for food. At least we're going to speak English with someone. We're going to speak. Yeah. So we are still learning. Uh, at the beginning. We are doing uh, gardening stuff. Mm -hmm. I was setting the stones. Well, actually, nice in the garden. Yeah. I don't know. Uh, we arrived there in uh, February. In the garden was, you know, this uh, cavolo toscano or broccoli. They had broccoli. It's mind relaxing uh, to do it. Yeah, yeah it was mi mindfulness. Now yeah. it's like all, uh, you know, it was really relaxed after the season. Yeah, of from course. Yeah. Nine to two uh, in the night was like 
<laughs> okay, this yoga, it's easy. Yeah. Until everything was going great. And then on the end of March, we need to start the season again. We already had an agreement with the previous mm -hmm. job that we are, we're going to come back to the season. And season was starting actually not at the end of March, at the middle of March. Because we were, doing, we were doing the long season from March to the end of, of October. Anyway, uh, the, the guys of the, the, this Barton house, check it out because it's really beautiful. They're mm -hmm. doing an amazing job. Uh, they said, look, by, by mistake, we just opened your CV. And I said, yes. I was not, they were not speak, talking to me because I was disaster. I was not talking at all. <laughs> And, but, but I understand there was something was going on, and that we were in the garden, you know, on 90 degrees, <laughs> pitting, okay. uh, putting seeds, we were sitting. Yeah, yeah, because on February, you put the seed to put in uh, this polytunnel, and then you have the, the plant to transfer to the, to the actual garden. Sure. Anyway, so we, by mistake, we opened your, your CV, and we saw that you're actually, actually a chef. And this guy is a pizzaiolo. He said, yes, why? What's the problem? What do you mean was the problem? We, we, we have a cafe. We actually, we realized they had a cafe where we were selling coffees and small cake, carrot cake, you know, the standard, yeah. standard British. Standard, standard British. Not food, apple, apple pie, but done in a, in a really good way. Anyway, this gardening stuff lasts for a week and then said, you know what? You two in the kitchen. And we started working in the kitchen, making cake, pastry, coffees, Anna like a waiter. Of course not me because I <laughs> this guy, what is doing this guy? <laughs> and I was in the kitchen doing this pepper pie, chicken pie, and this mm -hmm. kind of stuff. And basically they, they recognized we were kind of good. Mm -hmm. And they already had this project to open a, a bigger restaurant. 200 seats, 250 seats. Mm -hmm. And they said, you know what? Uh, we are going to make you an offer. Take your time because, said, you know, time we're getting by. I mean, they said, okay, we're working in the kitchen, but okay for free, but can, can you pay us something? Because the, proje the, the, the project was to stay here a month. Yeah. It's already almost March and we need to decide what to do. We need to go back to Italy. And the, the, the lady said, what, go back to Italy? No, wait, we need to talk. What do you mean? At the end of middle of March, we're going to start. We need to, we need to go. Yeah. Fine. No, no, no. We're going to have a meeting tonight. We have a, first come to dinner to our place. You're going to offer a nice bottle of wine. We have dinner and we need to talk. I was not understanding. Like always, I was not understanding. <laughs> and back to the proposals. Look, said, you can stay. Just tell us which is the pay you're getting in Italy. Just you're gonna find some compromise. Uh, we check they already check it out. The the camping, the hotel where we were working it was kind of fancy, but and uh, said let let's see what is the good compromise to you to stay. Yeah, and then we we stay there. We call say sorry, we're not coming. In Italy, blah, blah, okay? blah, yeah, yeah. Big, big company where actually we learn a lot from the, the this guy, anyway. And uh, we stayed in Arnold almost two years, almost two years, yeah. From gardening, joking, so joking the, by well, joking. was that a restaurant opened? Yes, yeah. yes. What was the type of the restaurant? Uh, of course, uh, with a touch of Italian, but it was mainly, yeah, between. French and Irish cuisine. Yeah. Okay. We were uh, we were actually doing. Again, uh, I was in the kitchen and half, not half, 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 half. Yes, and in the garden, mm -hmm. uh, picking vegetable fresh. That, that was amazing. Amazing, amazing experience. We were picking basically. We woke up in the morning, coffee. We work to the garden. What we have in the garden that we put on the menu. That was fantastic. That's that's, yeah, that yeah. dream. And. Um, yeah, we worked in the cafe. We opened the big we all together with the family, of course. We opened in end of August, beginning of September. Something like this, the big restaurant. We did the opening, we did all the menu. Menu we 
Ana. Ajme. Ana. Ana is the superstar. You, you always guy calls me, I don't know, journalist, blogger, they call me because I'm, I'm, I understand this sounds kind of... Thank God I'm not, not, not one of them. I'm not blogger, I'm not journalist. No, no, I'm just a guy who sells drinks. <laughs> you know, but you know, you know uh, can you have a chat with Pasquale? The superstar. Okay, okay. But anyway. Okay. And um, yeah, we opened the restaurant and the end of December 2016. We said, look, I need to go. I, I can't. I can't. To, to Croatia, uh, right? No, no. Croatia was not even the list. Mm. The project was, we were in some phase with Anna where I said, okay, we are working like season, like crazy. We put some money away, which we discovered was not a lot. Mm -hmm. And um, so what, what are you going to do with our life? We're going to continue to work like crazy and without a project, or you want to invest in something? How old are you at that, at that time? At that time, at what, 2016, 29? 20, okay. Good time uh, to 28. make a decision, yeah. And uh, not because we're tired. I mean, pretty sure we, can, we could continue to work season in summer and season in the winter mm -hmm. for a lot of more years. And actually, to be honest, we'll make much more money than we actually did. So, but from if you want to only see the money point of view. But mm -hmm. later on, we discovered it's not about money. And um, what happened? The decision to do something, me and Anna was already there. And uh, we just need to decide where and the timing. Mm -hmm. But the seeds was there. What happened? That we spent Christmas in Italy. We spent New Year in Zagreb. Because Anna's brother was already in Zagreb, was working for, he's still working for uh, this Italian company in Zagreb and um, and that was the years where the new year, the advent was the most beautiful uh, in, in Zagreb, you know. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah, ma, ma, la, it's, it's amazing. It's, and then we arrived here and actually we were not in Zagreb since what, three, at least five for five years because yeah we were going to to vacation when we had no, normal life job we were going to to vacation in uh, Zara mm -hmm. Sukoshan. Mm -hmm. they had apartment there they had they don't have it anymore so we are already coming to Zagreb to to to, to Croatia a lot since I know, 10 years 15 mm -hmm. since I'm together with Anna and uh, when we came in 2017 we celebrate 2017 New Year's Eve and the second and the third, of course, Alan uh, organized a tour of pizzeria and restaurant, and we found a completely different city. O'Hara was there. Uh, Cariola yes. was there. Um, I'm, I'm not sure about Basta. Yes, it was. And said, whoa, this this I nice, huh? yeah. This is, maybe we can, yeah, this... I just say this uh, Florent is, is is going now, and they, they were all full every day, every mm -hmm. minute. At the moment, we, you know, probably was what the advent, the end of the advent, so it was touristic, but you couldn't find a table mm -hmm. in, in pizzeria like this and, and restaurant as well. I said, you know what? We were looking about Tuscany, Emilia Romagna, Bologna, Rimini, uh, to, to go away from Veneto anyway. Mm -hmm. And what happened? It happened that. I went back to Italy because I had an appointment to rent a Risto pub. Mm -hmm. So the idea was there. I was just not of the idea to open there in Casa Franco mm -hmm. a, a pub, but just to see, like, let's see how mm -hmm. it works, what we need, paper, bureaucracy, this and that. I, I was also counted, I was also missing, I was not in Italy already two years, mm -hmm. maybe more. Anyway, I came back. I had the appointment with this guy some Thursday morning in 10. Ayana stayed in Zagreb. Anyway, the afternoon before, 
she was drinking coffee with mom and she was uh, looking at some journal, some magazine. And there was this announcement, a restaurant in Malinovi was renting. And Anna Allen was there, said, where is Malinovi? Because we didn't know, we were, she, she didn't, didn't even know. I'm like, it's a nice area up uh, in Slim. Uh, yeah. We're going to go tomorrow. There's a nice renter, Okrugak. We went to, they went to lunch there. And the, oh, it's a nice area. This villas, you know, kind of rich part of Zagreb. Yeah. It's nice, cool. And the rent was affordable. I mean, the, the, the average at the time. On our, let's say, on our budget, kind of ideas, I said, Anna said, I'm going to call. <laughs> and then Anna called. And then she fixed an appointment for the next morning. And then yep. the, for the next afternoon, by the way. And I was in Italy. What happened? Anna took the appointment. Uh, in the morning, she called me. I was in the in the parking and was already this guy waiting for me. I'm in the car. Hey, Anna, uh, yes, tell me. Uh, you need to come here. <laughs> what do you mean? What happened? Something something happened. No, no, no. You need to come here in four o'clock. We have appointment to see this this rent this uh, restaurant. Anna, what are you talking about? Come on, I'm in it. I just arrived. Uh, I'm here. I arrived yesterday evening. I had this guy in appointment. No, 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 no. You don't understand. This is the place. Let's go. <laughs> so the guy, you know what? Do Virginia. Uh, <laughs> Drago. The guy looked at me like, you didn't even see. Doesn't matter. Sorry. Jump in the car. I went to the, my parents. I was in my parents. Put everything in the luggage. I left for Zagreb. How long were you driving? How long is Ma, that was, that was four and a half. Now they, okay. they, they, they open a new highway. They took like an, less than four hours to, to go to my parents. That's nice. But anyway, okay. um, yeah, you we went to the appointment. appointment. The guy liked us a lot. I said, you know what? I have another appointment tomorrow morning. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to cancel. Just let me know tomorrow morning what you want to do, because you can count that the, the place is yours. You can take the place. And we didn't sleep all night, which is what the sign that probably it was, Yeah, was right. And nothing. We called the guy next morning and said, okay, you're going to take the place. And that's it. That's and how we are still there. was born. Yeah. yeah. And that is January 2017. And what's, what's the meaning of the, of the name? Oh, the name? Yeah. Uh, the name means Mak, the flower. Mak. Mak. The power, yeah. That because we, we, we ask help to this uh, marketing agency that I don't think they have any more. Maybe yes. Creative now. I, I don't think. Okay. No, really. They help us to, to, to create the logo. The, the logo was different. Uh, at the beginning, there was two faces. My mm -hmm. face and Anna's face with Slavon Italiano. I you remember. remember I remember, yeah. yeah. It was the also name of the company. Or it is now. No. Or like Mac. Uh, Mac is now. Yeah. 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 Perfect. Drink some wine. You need to. Yeah, I'm talking yeah. a lot. I, yeah. I, 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 normally, I'm not a great talker. But now... <laughs> You're doing a great. Yeah, job. I was wondering what, what, what I was in, in the car this morning. What I'm gonna well, say. listen. I mean, Michelin star come here, uh, yeah. YouTubers and big entrepreneurs. Bro, what I'm gonna do? That? Listen, that happened. What? That happened uh, when you take people back in their in their history and they, yeah. uh, when they remember in their head. They are just, you know, talking and talking and talking. That's perfect. That's why podcasts should do. Let me ask you, uh, what what was this? What I had so much things written on, man. And yeah, uh, I don't have a line. That's I'm I'm a bad uh, guess because I I always jump to. Yeah, don't worry. Well, one, 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 you're one, not you're a great guest. Uh, let me let me uh, ask you. Okay, let's go back to cooking. So. Uh, about the pasta, what's the you know what's the biggest secret when you cre when you create homemade pasta? So, do we... you mean the, the dough for pizza? No, the pasta like spaghetti, you know. Okay. And uh, other stuff. Okay. 
Uh, do you do you do it in your restaurant when I order, let's pub, say, spaghetti? Pasta. Okay, let, let, let's. I'm a guy from the south. In the south, we don't have fresh pasta. Okay, we have gnocchi, of course. But fresh pasta, uh, we don't have fresh pasta. We have this dry one. Actually, Gragnano, the place where I I grew up, mm -hmm. is the European city of pasta. Okay. Because of this uh, Romanian building, the we created. Uh, on purpose, that wind from the mountain to the way to the to the coast to the sea was uh, always this little breeze, so the pasta was drank really fast in an ah, effective nice. way. Yeah. yeah, I mean the in Graniano, all the the old building, there you don't have flat on the on the uh, prism, yeah. uh -huh. not first floor, prism, but, yeah. prism. I don't know, I'm saying English. You have all, only apartment on the, on the first floor, okay, because. This uh, this ground zero is the prism is basement. It uh, is basement. Basement yeah, dolly, huh? Prism. So ground zero. Okay, okay, okay. P prism. Yeah. <laughs> uh, uh, apologize if I mix English and Croatian. No, it's beautiful. <laughs> uh, so yeah, so we have mostly dry. Mm -hmm. Fresh pasta is from the north. Uh, uh, so the question is, what how, how to make pro proper uh, pasta at home? Yeah, that's the or like the mix for uh, uh, egg, uh, uh, egg and uh, I'm, flour and yeah. I'm talking. Uh, I'm asking in uh, in general. So uh, Croatian people, okay. uh, people on the Balkan are used to buy this. Most of it, it's not good pasta. Uh, which is from the supermarkets. Ah, okay. Okay, okay. Uh, listen. Uh, okay. okay. So I just want to make the point uh, that you actually tell us what is the, the great pasta. So people uh, people are kind of, you know, surprised when they try the real pasta, mm -hmm. not, the, not yeah. the supermarket pasta, you know. Yeah. Okay. Uh, now in Zagreb, uh, you have this, um, I cannot say the names, but uh, these big stores uh -huh. uh, where you can find specific uh, pasta. Uh, normally, it's kind of a uh, good index, uh, trafilata al bronzo. It means uh, uh, bronze. Ah, okay. Gotcha. Uh, true bronze um, metal form. Uh -huh. Basically, wh what does it mean? That what happened? You, you make the dough. Uh, great pasta, by the way, is made from another uh, piece of Pseničino. I just say Pseničino. Anyway, Pseničino. Uh, Everybody knows what is Pseničino. Yeah. Um, it's not correlated to 0, 0, 0, 1 integral. So it, it's Pseničino. It's another piece. Pseničino, brother. It's Pseničino, pardon. Okay. Pseničino. But it's not this. In, in Italian, we call it weak or hard. Okay. In the South, mostly grow the hard one, which is the same family, but a different piece ah, of okay. Pseničino. Uh, no pšenična, which you, we use for Napolitana, for uh, 550 Gladko. Yeah. The, the flower we have also here in Croatia is oblong, really similar to rice, a little bit smaller than rice, and uh, with a, little, a, a lot of um, this, um, how do you say in English, uh, ca carboside okay. uh, side. So really performing on a technical way. This du um, du durum. Um, also called actually semolina. semolina Everybody knows yeah, this yeah. and semolina. Yeah, yeah. That's um, that's the durum, which is a different species. It's round, uh, has more more quality, more uh, also quality. What is quality? What is not quality? That's a bit. Yeah, we can talk about this later. Uh, I discovered this how to what is quality, what is not quality re recently. Yeah. Um, anyway. It's round, smaller. Uh, on a uh, industrial, in an industrial point of view, is weaker than the the, the other one because the reza, reza is inferior mm -hmm. uh, on on, uh, on gluten. Uh, the gluten is, uh, I know, let's say less quality gluten because why? It's a shorter protein, mm -hmm. not mm -hmm. a big protein like we can have on the zero zero flour okay. or Manitoba. So what happened? And basically, we have a lot of, and grows really fast. You don't, it doesn't need. It's easier actually to 
cultivated. Uh -huh. So in the south, we have this kind of grains. Uh, we basically make everything from the grains. Uh, gnocchi, pizza, uh, pasta, uh -huh. everything. E e e even cake from uh -huh. this kind of... And bread, of course. I don't know if I say bread. And bread, of course. Uh, what you have? Then you have a lighter product. Uh -huh. And it's a, a little bit more yellowish. If you see the pasta, if you compare two pasta, let's say an industrial known blue packet pasta yeah. is white or translucent. If you buy, I don't know, Di Martino, Garofalo, um, Viello, uh, Di Viella, anyway, this new brand, they're coming to Zago. They're coming. Okay. And um, you will see, you recognize they're a little bit yellowish. That's because of the color of the flower. So, uh, anyway, they, they do this mix. Okay. Uh, they just go through this kind of press, this machine, and they, where you have the, this form of pasta. You have paccheri, you have spaghetti, you have linguine, you have farfalle, bow ties. Farfalle is uh, bow tie. Uh, penne, which is my favorite. Uh, you have this kind of shape, but actually come from the same dough and the same grain. Yeah, yeah. just a different shape. Yeah. And um, a, perf a perfect way is really simple of course you'll tell me yeah for you it's really simple because if you know i grew up with that so for me i was not even understanding the question so you know yeah. for me it's obvious yeah but it's... tell us tell us what's the uh, you know perfect way of making homemade okay. pasta yeah. okay yeah, okay that's the, that's the question you buy the packet of pasta this hard uh in every packet you have the timing of how, how much this needs have... to be cooked yeah yeah a minute in a minute so basically, you need a pot. Normally, it's, there is also a ratio, which I do by heart, but actually there's a mathematical formula. I think it's 100 grams, one liter of water. Okay. No, that's too much. Uh, that's too much because half a kilo, you need five liters. No, that's too much. Anyway, you need enough water. Okay. Let's say the double. Mm -hmm. 200 grams, at least you need half a liter of water. Okay. Anyway, don't take my number by... By but by low, need to be enough uh, enough water. Need to boil. When it's boiling, you put salt. When boiling. When boiling, because uh, well, it, it boil faster. That's also it's a couple of seconds. But there is this meat uh, that uh, salt um, salt no water. Salty water yeah. uh, take more time than not salty water. Mm -hmm. But anyway, it, yes, it is. Of course, in the restaurant it matters because. If you want to boil 50 liters of water like we do in Papavero, it takes 10 minutes less than 15 minutes less if it's salty or not salty. Yeah. Anyway, it needs details that, that um, I'm sick in the head. So, <laughs> so it's, I have this kind of... And uh, anyway, salty water. How much salty? By whatever your taste is. So you're cooking for yourself and people you love at the end, right? If you're home, you are cooking for someone you love, you just taste it. If you like it, think of the people, of the person you are cooking for, and you will have the answer. Okay? Sure. It's not only number and mathematics. Yeah. Anyway, when it's boiling, you put the pasta in, not before. Of course. And um, the moment you put the pasta in, you set a timer or look at the watch. Respect the minute is on the packet. That is important. To be al dente. Okay. To be al dente. Exactly. What happened now? What I do? What actually also my mom do and my grandmother do is when pasta is almost done with a cup, cup, ceramic cup, coffee or big cup or milk, yeah. cafe latte, you take some of the water. Why not before? Because when pasta is almost done, all the what's name? Scrub. Mm -hmm. Scrub. Anyway, that became Scrub Navoda. Mm -hmm. That is a um, term I found also now. Uh, they're using this uh, amid. Uh, um, amid, not amid. Anyway, doesn't matter. Scrub Navoda. You just take some and put it on the side. Mm -hmm. Maybe you'll need, maybe not. Just put it there. Take your, your pot, close the gas. You, you're not going to need the gas anymore for water. Yeah. Strain. The water and keep it pasta. That pasta now that you have is al dente. What you want to do with that pasta 
is another story. Sure. Of course, the recipe change. If you want to do pasta pomodoro, is one thing. Which kind of pomodoro is one thing. Mm-hmm. A liquidy, a li- if you have a liquidy sauce, you need to saute the pasta. Mm-hmm. And then, if you saute the pasta, you need that liquid for the right creaminess. Yeah. To, to get creamy. If you have some dry sauce, I don't know. Like, it, it can be some... Gamberi, pesto, sherry, raichica, i bosiak, uh-huh. right? I maslina. That yeah. you don't have a sauce. You basically, it's kind of dry. And you use that scrubna voda. Uh-huh. In the restaurant, what do we do? We have the big pot. You just, with a, with a spoon, chefia, chefia. Chefia. Yeah. You just take some water to the right creaminess. If you have some, I don't know, uh, also carbonara. Carbonara is creamy, but it's actually dry. Yeah. Because you don't you, you don't you don't have a sauce. You have a carbo crema now, uh, and use this scrubna voda to to the right creaminess. Yeah. And then you just you taste you taste you taste you see that. Yeah. If you have some, I don't know, tell me something. Bolognese. Uh, bolognese with not too much onion. Okay. <laughs> Uh, but it's uh, you. You uh, you just explain with bolognese. You know, which, you have the sauce. With, yeah. You just have this pasta. So I, I'm 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 done. I'm done. You have this pasta. Put it in bolognese sauce. You just need to mix it. You need even to shoot it. You just mix it with spoon or whatever, and then it's done. But I I, <laughs> I have a Sorry, I, I have I, I a question. I, have I shouldn't a, mention that. I have a question where uh, you will need to talk uh, uh, another time uh, more. I, I asked you. <laughs> I, that's my problem because I, I don't I, care. I asked you. I, 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 yeah, I, I, I don't asked care. you how to create a homemade pasta. You explained us how to properly cook it. Can you now explain how us? How to make? Yeah, how to make. How okay. to make the pro uh, and the pasta? Yeah. Okay, but so I, we we also on the on the on the internet or okay. wherever when you do a volcano with a with a. Oh, that with, so that's fresh pasta. Yeah. Okay. Okay. So tagliatelle, lasagne, tortellini, whatever. Yeah. Well, uh, I, I mean, for that, um, I don't want to say I'm really good at that, but that's the right question is Anna to ask. But that's you are just sticking, sticking with the tradition, sticking with the with the. Thank you. No problem. I just you recognize uh, I need some some liquid courage. <laughs> <laughs> no. Um, okay, we are talking about fresh pasta. Yeah. Which you can create at home. So let's let's talk about the people who are not working in the uh, you know, uh, in the uh, restaurant. Yeah. Okay. So so let's put it this way. I was I'm guy from the south, so I was pushing more south 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 stuff. Okay. Anyway, okay. no, that's the we just stick with with tradition with the simple as possible. So it's uh, Gladko, Semolina. Uh, I think what we're doing right now is. Not sure about the number. I'm really bad in numbers. Well, I think it's on a alpha kilo of Gladko. We add 60 or 70 grams of semolin okay. to give this more. You have more um, opposite of Gladko is uh, Ostro. This mm-hmm. uh, not smooth pasta okay. where you collect more sauce. Uh, where you when you chew is not completely. Um, Glued in in in, in this gluten gotcha. paste and go- yeah. so you have more crunchiness and so on and so on. That's why how you much eggs? In- how many eggs? I mean the standard is what? The standard is I don't know half a kilo one egg. Okay. If you wanna do fancy stuff, do uh, do just uh, add the old half a kilo, uh, add uh, one whole to to just. Jumanyak. Yeah. So then maybe, you... maybe I, I'm even, even wrong in uh, in, uh, in numbers. Uh, but anyway, it's really simple. Yeah. If you want to stick to to with tradition is flour, egg, salt. Muscatni depend of the region. Mm-hmm. If you are in a Lim, in Emilia, we shoot you. Uh, Muscatni. If you are in uh, Romania, maybe sure. it's okay. Uh, Papar in the south, for example, uh, we put Parmesan. Mm-hmm. And actually, with the tagliatelle we do, we put also parmesan. And, um, and if you want to stick with tradition, that's it. If you want to be more cre- creative, you know. Uh, use your imagination. Of yeah. course. If you want to use stupid things, you want to do red pasta, you can use a little bit of 
paprika or uh, cicla. Uh, cicla powder or uh, you want to do the green, use the dried spinach or yeah. put the, the, the spinach or you want to do more aromatic, you can put caduja, um, fresh oregano, uh, yeah, it's rosemarine. So, it's, yeah, it's so easy and uh, uh, you can do so much of things. Course, of course, if you ask me, start with that, no, you need a little bit more practice, of course. Sure. Do, like do pizza at home. Everybody know how to make pizza. Yeah. Even a proper pizza. Nothing wrong with that. But of course you need some practice. If you want to go from pizza, you do the standard 55% of the rotation. You want to go to 80%. Of course you can do it. Yeah. yeah. But do just do step by step and you can do you can do well, amazing stuff. Well, since you mentioned the uh, pizza, pizza dough is my next and and last question. I want to I wanted to do it for the end. So uh pizza dough Okay. Everybody saw it, everybody seen it, but everybody knows. Let's say there everybody knows, but I, I would not agree with that. Uh what's the what's the thing? What's your style of doing? Do you do a long fermentations like no. for those two, three I, days? I, I will explain you why. Okay. There's this trend. Sorry, f- finish your question. Sorry, I'm, that's I'm it. So that's, that's it. That's okay. it. That's it. Okay. Let, let let us know how do you do your pizza dough for exactly. your guests. Exactly. That, that, yeah. that, that what, what I want to tell because everybody knows what is pizza. Everybody can make pizza. Everybody eat pizza on a regular basis. So everybody has an expectation and uh, his favorite pizza. Right, mm-hmm. uh, it's personal pizza. If you ask how many people we have here, 20, 20 people, which pizza you like, you will not find two the same. Yeah, everybody has, I don't know, some emotional reason, some usual to do things reason, and so on and so on. Uh, if you ask me what we do in Papavero, that's a really personal way of doing pizza. Mm-hmm. That, that is my pizza. If you want to force it and categorize it in some category, mm-hmm. for now, how it's going now in Italy, uh, is like a um, uh, classic Italian pizza. And, uh, the way I'm cooking it, uh, I'm baking pizza on almost 400. So that's almost like Napolitana way, on wood fire way. So it's 400 Celsius, your, your oven yeah. is... Yeah, Cetro, Cetro Stone Sopion. Is it uh, like like on the wood oven or is yes. it like... Wood, uh, wood, 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 wood oven. In the papaya. Yes, yes. Okay, yes. beautiful. You was Bukva. Oh, so uh, I'm hungry, I'm going to go later. Uh, for pizza. Whenever you want. Yeah. You know. And um, yeah, that's... I'm not following nobody. I'm not following any rules. I I don't care about rules. It's, it's, oh, I've been making pizza, of course. Mm-hmm. Then about anything else, the results that I'm respecting, of course, I'm, okay. yeah. Uh, but this way, oh, pizza is this, oh, pizza is that. What the fuck are you doing? Uh, this is not pizza, it's not Napoletana. Who asked that I need to make Napoletana? Or just because I'm from Naples, I need to make Napoletana? Yeah. No, and then I had a customer yesterday said, oh, I was in Naples. I was in Naples uh, two days ago. And this Napolitana you make is the best. And I don't even make Napolitana. For the oh. standard, nowadays, they're talking in Croatia, what is Napolitana pizza? Why? And I will ask for your question. Long fermentation, slow fermentation. There is a reason why there is this. Long fermentation for the common talking is like, okay, if you do long fermentation, pizza is going to be lighter because longer the enzyme and the quasis is gonna eat the gluten, uh, so the pizza is gonna be uh, more ready, uh, and so on and so on and so on and so on. Okay, but I don't need a lot of fermentation to achieve that. I achieve that to put more enzyme, which is not pasta, it's enzyme. It's, mm-hmm. uh, it's something that quality flour has already inside. Mm-hmm. You, don't need to, mm-hmm. you don't need to add nothing. That's why I always cut my pizza. I use zero zero, yes, because to make a nice pizza in the structure. Yeah. Uh, again, uh, gluten, you need to build up a house. Uh, in that house, when you bake it, all the gas that yeast, quassats produce, is going to bubble up, and your pizza is going to be higher with uh, nice edges, and so on, and so on, and so on. 
But that doesn't mean that pizza is more quality or less quality. I do short, short means not, it's not even short. I mean, we mix this morning and that pizza customer is going to eat tomorrow evening. So how much is no, it? 24 plus is 30 hours, 36 hours. Oh. Um, well, that's almost, I mean, that's almost two days. So it's not uh, that it's... But, uh, but for some people, you know, this creative creative pizza that they, they don't know what they're doing just because someone give the recipe and they say you need to do like this this and this and the thing they are no fuck they are super stuff but they don't know i mean they do they do amazing product because that's the, the right recipe nothing wrong with that but basically you're working but you don't know why you're doing certain things mm. you know uh, uh, um that's the thing i did a, a consultation right the guy asked me, hey, I want to do this guy in Naples is uh, skilling it. He has uh, pizza in the oven 72 hours. How much is 72 hours? Two days, four three days. days. Three days. 40, 48, yeah, it's three days. Three days. Anyway. Uh, we are fucking Einstein's. Okay. We we need to, what? we know how to count 72 hours in three days. <laughs> After two glasses. Good, good anyway. job. <laughs> I, didn't, I didn't eat nothing. Anyway. I'm uh, so proud. Anyway. I, and I told him, but, but wait, why? First, do you have the space you want to do? How much pizza are you going to do per day? Let's say 400 pizza per day. That was in the, um, down in, in uh, for season, ready, getting ready for, for season. And they asked me for mm -hmm. recipe pizza to make. Yeah, no problem. But, but ju just think, but why you need three days a bula stay there? First, you don't have the space. Second, the space you're occupying, you can put bottle of wines you can put mozzarella cheese you're just occupying like because for four days if you want to make 400 pizza a day is what four eight twelve two, almost two thousand pizza which is a lot of space two thousand mm -hmm. pizza in the fridge because you need to do the recipe this um michelin star pizza yolo is doing naples so you want to do like this but wait to, to achieve something to, to, to achieve what I don't have a lot of pizza, I want a quality, uh, you know, like you in Papawar. But wait, I'm not doing 72 hours. I'm, I'm using this technique in the short term. I'm just putting, the, the, why the three days? Because the enzyme, they don't put the use only zero, zero, which is not quality flour. They put zero, zero, so there is no enzyme to cut down all the, the big carbohydrates. The M to sugar, uh, to, to, to sugar, to quassets, so quassets can reproduce and can create this nice bubble. And the enzyme to cut down the gluten. Why the, at the end, the, the pizza is, oh, this guy. Oh, I, you know how many people that come say, you know, I, I was last week, I don't know where, uh, I ate pizza and I drank all night. But I come here, why your pizza? I can eat two and I'm completely fine. Yeah, yeah because of that. Because people, they just mix it. Zero, zero, because zero, zero is the best. And the magari the morning for the uh, at the end uh, the morning for the evening, the gluten is not processed, is not mature. Uh, the starch is full, is not even cut down to sugar, and you eat basically a stone. Mm -hmm. that of course, it's gonna sit there, and you're gonna drink, and you're gonna spill it. Yeah, and you're gonna wake up and what, whatever you need. With my pizza, I do this in 20, 24 hours, just because I'm putting more enzyme in. Now, in the last six months, I changed the recipe. I'm using semolina. So finally, semolina came to Zagreb. Uh -huh. So I can get semolina, proper semolina to make pizza. So I'm using 15%, uh, 75. 85% of 00, 15% uh, 15 of semolina. Why am I using semolina? Because I'm putting in the enzyme. Uh -huh. The enzyme, then 00, zero is not giving me. I'm using the 00, zero flour, to build this structure of yeah. gluten of this nice well mixed pizza mm -hmm. and then i'm putting in the semolina why for the enzyme so you don't have this stone sitting on on your stomach and uh, semolina has what more mineral salt more vitamins uh that you want to count it you want to count it or no yeah pizza is only junk food something you eat because you're drunk and you are Oh, that pizza, so sit down, so uh, I feel my stomach. Or it can be something nice. Can we just divide the pizza? That, that, that actually my 
wide open place. That is my goal. I want to just go away from the pizza junk food. Pizza is not junk food. Yeah. It's not junk. It can be street food, yes, but street food doesn't mean that it has to be whatever cheese with the tomato. When you when you say junk food, then we are coming back to those bakeries because today I I don't believe it with my eyes, but those kids who goes to the high school, those those kids who goes to the colleges, they are eating fucking pizza in the bakeries in the eight in the morning, which is not even pizza. It's the same thing. It's the leftover of the dough, and they have some you know coolant uh, cheese from this big store, whatever, which is plastic some uh, passata they put it in the oven as they are making their own you know bread and everything mm -hmm. cut it in the slices uh, you pay it like you would pay in in your uh, super uh, ultra cool place and uh, you eat that pizza which is not even which if, which is full of oil and all the other crap and then you don't even know what is pizza and then when you come to popavero when you see what is actually pizza you you are you know surprised and everything is nice and then uh, when but you the, when you make the, the great the, dough when you make the great foundation for that pizza you need to have a, a high quality ingredients which of course goes to the pizza of course like, let, I mean, let's I, let's don't buy a uh, shitty ham shitty cheese but nowadays come on shitty tomato that, you know? that, that was an excuse i don't know 10 years ago 15 years ago then you, you cannot yeah, bro. get quality stuff now you can get quality stuff. I didn't even mention what we put on top because for me it's obvious that nowadays, mostly all we and my colleague, other pizzerians, other, we are basically buying from the is three of them, three mm. Dobriachi, da. Dobriachi. So they, 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 they go to Italy to buy stuff. There are three of them, and we are using the same product, mm -hmm. right? Are they... we making the same pizza? No, because. The foundation, the most important for me, the most important for the customer, but it's not even important when the customer recognize that the dough is made with a purpose. Okay, it's pizza that I made pizza because I'm not eating pizza every day, but I'm gonna be able to eat pizza every day, and that pizza has to be healthy. Mm -hmm. I mean, my my team is is eating that that pizza. Yeah. Uh, the guys they're working in Papavero. They're work, they're eating the, the same stuff we're doing for customers. So first of all, they have to be healthy. We're, we're eating this every day. We cannot do best ways uh, just because we have to do business. Who tells you you have to do business? Yeah. Go do something else. I mean. Yeah. That's that's re, nice re, to say. Yeah. Restaurant business is the worst business to 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 invest in. I mean. Yeah. If you have to do something without a meaning. And then we go back to the to, to, to the beginning of our talk. Like mm -hmm. money, it's not it's not about money. It's about to send a message to do something that goes after money. I mean, if you only see money, I, I just have to close and just yeah, uh, every, do, do do something else. It's it's everybody talk about money, but uh, for you, since you you came, let's go back. You came uh, from uh, working on some gradolište. Uh, you came, you came to make a pizza, and you learn from the guy from the Egypt. And then you learn more, then you learn more, then you learn more, and then you became good at something. So why wouldn't you do a business with that? It's it's not so no. strange. And then people, you open the restaurant because you make a great bro. You don't. You have never uh, been in the restaurant construction or the owner of something which is ridiculously hard and uh, so much headaches you had that yeah. let's I mean, say uh, fucking corona bro <laughs> how do you survive it i mean that's that's how, not even uh we did that... i mean we did i i don't know it is uh i i don't even ask myself anymore i i don't care it's gone and it's not because I'm negative. Of, of course, it's going to be uh, another one crisis. There's always a crisis going on. I don't care. All the time. I, I don't give a fuck. And, and mo most important, I, I, don't give, I don't care what others are doing. During COVID, um, people just closed and left these people home. That, that's your people. You don't take care of these people. Yeah. We didn't. We closed because we were forced to close. But 
you continue to pay. And these people, they're not in power anymore. Because, of course, if I care, it doesn't mean that you, if I care about you, that's actually why I told you I'm not even a chef anymore. Because I opened that I was a chef. But then I opened a restaurant and I realized that we need someone that do actually business with this person. And that can be a- anybody else than me and Anna. Yeah, of course. Then I'm not even a chef anymore. Of course, dough will be always because dough and pizza has a place in my heart. I will always make pizza. But if you ask me about kitchen and recipe and stuff, I don't know, bro. I mean, I knew two years ago, three years ago, probably before COVID. But I had to care of something else. If I want to do this kind of business and I want to be in this business, it can be me. And also because there's a lot of other people that are even better than me. Then they can cook, they can step in, they can compete. Uh, I mean, the... I think I, I, I'm I'm really open mind. Uh, uh, if I'm a pizzaiolo at the start, it doesn't mean that I can step back and let someone else make. Yeah. The goal is there. If that's what I'm working on in the last two years. If I'm good enough to share my dream, but actually, I'm a normal guy who is living the dream. Mm. That was my dream. 15 years ago. That's mm. why I started. Yeah. And I'm, I'm living that dream. If I can share with you my dream. Said, look, pizza has to be like this. The, the, this place has to look like, like this. I have this project. It's difficult sometimes when we have a meeting in Popower or that. Because we are on two different levels. Not level of importance. Wait. Because the, 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 the level of the today, it's really important. What has happened today in Popower and the customer mm. and feedback. That's the most important thing. But my job, I realized that I need to work on Papavero in five years. I can work on Papavero of today. Uh-huh. Okay. I need to have a plan where we're going to be in five years. I need, to, I need to start build today what is Papavero next year, in two years, in three years. That's a beautiful so, thinking, yeah. Where is the goal? I'm not alone. I'm responsible for these people. Now in Papavero, there are 12 of us. Whoa, 12. I, I'm, I'm, I, we are still missing. I need, I, I need a corner. I need a pizzaiolo. Yeah. I need a chef in the kitchen. Yeah. The, I mean, the great I need, things. Take care, I need to take care of these people. Yeah. And I cannot have a plan of today and tomorrow. Yeah. I mean, if another COVID comes, yeah. I need to take care of these people. Not about myself. I don't care. I'll find a way. But yeah. who put, let's say, his most important hours, people come to work, to Papa. No? Right? It's, it's going to sound weird, but the most important person in Papa is not the customer. For me, they're not the customer. He is who actually makes the food for this customer. Mm-hmm. Who is taking care of the customer? Yeah. They're them. And actually, I'm working the last year. I was busy two years ago. We were opening another, uh, another place, but it went, it went well with, this, with, a, with a partner, with an investor. He, he, he didn't and well but anyway um in the last year i'm just like focusing myself like not in power how, how to change menu this and that L- like before like what i can do for the guys they're working in power with me they, they, they are them yeah me and dana of course we are the head and the brain the goal the direction but these guys is they are the soul. They are yeah, the main part of Papavero. Yeah, yeah, it's not me. Now I'm here because I'm exotic. I'm Italian. I speak this weird English. And <laughs> here or there I put some Croatian word, but it's funny. But Papavero is it's not me no. anymore. I realize that it's not me anymore. Yeah. It's these people I'm working in. Yeah, but uh, I think the people get uh, the sense that it's still that Papavero is you and Anna. I think you are making that kind of... Uh, impression at least when uh, people are lo- looking at you at the social media and other yeah. stuff that's a good thing to do but uh i think we are gonna stop here a oh sorry co- I... co- 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 good almost hour and a half Opa, a, really? little, a little master class yeah about the pizza and the pasta and the italian 
uh, and the Italian guy Sorry. came here and was like, no, that's that's beautiful. I like it. I could speak for more like two hours. Yeah. Oh, we have, <laughs> yeah, we have to talk. Yeah. Uh, thank you, Pasquale. Thank you. Uh, it's gonna be nice. Uh, hvala svima što pratite, gledajte. Uh, nema prijevoda, jebi ga, snađite se, naučite engleski, sada vam kažem. Uh, like, share, subscribe, uh, dođite svi u Papavero, probajte pizzu, pastu, uh, burgere, finu pivu, odlična vina. Stavit ćemo dolje link na Instagram, uh, web, sve što imate. Neka ljudi dođu, neka probaju, evo, koji god nisu. Hvala svima, vidimo se. Živimo. Cheers. Cheers. Yeah. What?